Nekopera, a game brought down by the heavens by none other than Neko Works. It's a story of love, loss, overcoming adversity, and cake. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll, uh, you know, you might, you'll prob you probably will do that too. Because at the end of the day, mankind is only as strong as their cutest Neko. Enjoy. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Here's the cover. I want a new show on TV called Weebs vs. Body Pillows. No, it'll actually be called Weeb Wrestling. That's where weebs just wrestle their body pillows for 26 minutes straight. History Channel at 3 a.m. be like. I would definitely win though because I've been wrestling my uh, body pillows for many years. That has two meanings. Get out of here, Centauri, Centauria. Necopera. Is it the best thing ever? Hints. Yes, it is. Now, if you guys have seen my videos or been a fan for a while, you know how much I love Necopera. This shouldn't be a, a shock to anyone out there. The story is great. I love the artist behind all of the Neko Works material, but most importantly, I love the characters. The characters in Neko Para is what really makes it stand out, I think personally, from some of the other VNs out there, especially some of the other harem style VNs. Osu fingers. <laughs> Now we all know the ranking of my, my Neko girls, but I'll go over it uh, once again in case you are new here. Vanilla and Azuki tied for first, chocolate, cinnamon, coconut, maple, uh, the other one, Shigure, she sucks. But that is my personal ranking of the Neko Para girls. Um, and that doesn't mean to say I, I don't like coconut or I don't like maple, they still are amazing. It's just when you have the best thing ever, if somebody gives you like a lifetime supply of Mountain Dew, but then they also give you a lifetime supply of Coca-Cola, I'm still gonna respect the Coca-Cola and, and enjoy it. Uh, in, in my free time, but most likely I'm gonna be thirsting over the Mountain Dew. So hopefully, hopefully that clears things up. No, I, I love Nekopara. It's, it's one of those visual novels where things are just paced very well. I love the story and the characters and, and just a lot of the visuals too are, are done quite nice. And I'm not just talking about the H scenes, okay? Those are also done very well, specifically in the, the newest volume that just came out. Holy moly, let's just say I was in the Christmas spirit after playing that, uh, latest volume. We've also looked at a lot of different Nekopara figures and goodies on this channel in the past. Uh, that's something I've, I've touched on quite a bit. But today is special because we're not going to be looking at, uh, you know, some little prize figures or looking at some of the pop-up parade Nekopara figures. No, today we are actually looking at the real deal, just about the best, highest quality Nekopara figures that are on the market today. Are you guys excited? Because I know I am. I've, I've been literally waiting so long for this. People always ask me like, what's the worst part about doing YouTube? And it's having to wait, having to stare at the figures that you've been waiting all your life to open for months because you haven't made a video on them yet. The pain I go through for you guys. But yes, today we will be looking at none other than, I can see you. I can see you through this little peephole. I think I'm gonna make a movie like E.T. where I hide in children's toys, except uh, I hide in anime figures. It's also a extremely violent horror movie. That's right, today we're looking at none other than the binding 1-4 scale Nekopara coconut and Azuki figures. Holy moly. You guys, mmm. Now you guys know me, I don't often show emotion on this, uh, on this channel, I think for as long as I've been a weeb and as much stuff as I've seen, it's just been kind of sucked out of my soul over the years. But today I am actually genuinely excited. I have been waiting so long to get these. I missed the pre-order date and then I was trying to find them in the aftermarket and it was a freaking IRL battle royale trying to, to get these. Collectors were like turning on their brethren trying to get these figures for less than like $400. There was a lot of bloodshed. I had to do a lot of things I'm not proud of to get these figures. But yeah, I finally got them. I got the Izuki, I got the coconut, and I also got them brand new. Not used, not pre-owned. I, I still say used, I'm sorry. I don't try to do it, it's just ingrained in my head. But yeah, I actually got them brand new, and that's rare for me. I've opened a lot of pre-owned figures on this channel lately, um, to not much success. What broke? No! So hopefully that won't happen today with these being brand new, but uh, we're gonna find out very soon. Yeah, Nekos. 
Yeah! Yeah, I don't know why all these anime figures break, you know? It's not like they're super high-end and I throw them around and spend them for com comedic relief. <laughs> Now you guys know the first thing I have to talk about is the boxes that these figures come in because we're talking about some some high-end goods here. This isn't your uh, pop-up parades or Sega prize figures. This is the this is where the real money's at. And binding did a very classic binding job as they normally do with their one-fourth figures on these. Looks very clean, looks very sophisticated. The coloring is awesome. It's cool to have the coloring kind of reflect the characters that are inside the box. You do have all the basic information on the front. Uh, you also have the little gold accents on the some of the font which is which is really cool kind of makes it stand out in the light on the back you'll get all the standard warnings and everything ages 18 and up don't feed it to your zero to three year olds only to kids that are three and up product contains functional sharp edges or points functional does azuki have a shooting feature what does functional mean and what's really cool about the one four scale neko para figures by binding uh, is they have this little Easter egg outline of the characters on the bottom of their box. They also did it with the Chocla and uh, Vanilla figures that we opened a long time ago on this channel. So check that out if you haven't seen it. And I love it. It looks really cute. Uh, and it's just cool artwork to see. It's kind of a, a minimalist but very recognizable Azuki and Coconut. So uh, yeah, it's really cool art. I like that. It's a nice touch, okay? Nothing wrong with a nice little Neko touch. Even in her minimalistic outline, Coconut be dummy thick. Oh, uh, my... Uh, my parents pool guy is here, so this is kind of this is kind of awkward. Hello, Sergey, my Russian brethren. I just don't I don't know whether to like keep recording and act like it's normal or or just give up on life right now. He's doing a good job though. I'll, I'll give him that. And this is the part of the video I hate when I'm opening two figures because I know 90% of you out there want me to open up Coconut first because she's she's like the most popular, which makes sense because I saw a poll on Reddit the other day and where people could vote on what their favorite Nekopara character was and Coconut won by like a long shot. You know what surprised me though is Cinnamon came in dead last, which is weird because I almost prefer Cinnamon half the time compared to Coconut. So I know I know all you out there want me to open up Coconut first, but I I Azuki's like Azuki's my bae. I I love Azuki. All right, fine, I'll open up Coconut first, but don't say I never did anything for you guys. Where's my Where's my blade? Na 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 neko para na 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 neko para na 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 na. All right, you guys, here we go. We're gonna pop the seal on the. Binding one four scale coconut figure. Let's do this. Actually feels quite weird opening a, a brand new figure. That's how long it's been. I think the last like four figure videos I've done have been all all pre-owned. I'm poor, you guys. I just bought a new house and I got mortgages and loans and alimony. Oh my God, I forgot how beautiful these figures are. Mmm, mm, it smells so good. Ah. People always ask me like, hey, how do I tell if this figure's a bootleg or not? And pretty much one way you can do it is if you stick your face into a, a figure box like I just did, um, and it's a bootleg, your whole face will just fry off like a SpongeBob character. It's, it's not fun. I do remember they were quite difficult to uh, get all the clothes on, which typically I would just skip that step and, and pose her in the nude, but uh, YouTube, yay. If we could have like one video this month that doesn't get demonetized in the first five seconds, that'd be, that'd be great. All right, so we got the instructions here. Yep, looks great. Lots of titty, lots of clothing. Uh, looks very similar to putting together the chocolate and vanilla. And then here is the figure itself. As you can see, it comes with this really strong plastic casing, blister pack, which uh, a lot of figures come with. But binding does like step up the game. This stuff is super high end, super nice. And in the back here, looks like we have the bag of all our clothing. So I'm gonna set that aside. They have the little uh, paw prints on the bottom of their heels. Oh, I, j I just love Nekopara, you guys. I'm sorry. It's just one of those series that that I do like. People will always give me shit about how much I like it, but you know what? Is there better visual novels out there? Sure. Is there visual novels out there that make me freaking cry and lose faith in humanity? Yeah, there's lots of them. But you know what? Sometimes I just want to watch some cute Neko made girls make cakes and romance. Open Sesame. Oh man, she is. She is free now. Oh my god, her legs. Oh. That realistic fabric. Okay, I'm going to very carefully remove her from the box. Hopefully no small pieces or anything fall off of her. All right, she's a little top heavy on her knees, so be aware if you're opening these figures yourself. I mean, I think we all knew that coconut was a little top heavy, but 
Just something to know. All right, and we got our tail here, which freaking weighs like 10 pounds. And last but not least, we have the uh, the fan favorite coconut panties here. Um, yeah, not much to say, they're panties. Finger panties. How has no one ever thought of this? This has to be a thing. This would make such a good like quarter game in, in Japan where you like twist the knob and the little capsule comes out. Collect all seven panty fingers. All right, next thing we're gonna do is get out all our different clothing here, which is all individually packaged. Um, that's nice, keep things separated. We got the bell here, which is just, I love it so much. That is such a nice little touch. The bows too on everything. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it already. Now I'm gonna uh, refer to instructions on how the best way to, to start this. All right, so step one is pretty much just take off all our limbs, which is the, the part of Putting together a figure like this, I, I hate. Damn, coconut, is it uh, a little chilly in here? A little, a little nipply? All right, so far, so good. On first glance here, everything looks to be perfect. I don't see anything broken. Uh, everything looks to be in amazing shape. Quality looks to be amazing so far, which is what I would expect out of binding. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue putting things together here. And time. All right, you guys, there you go. I finally got it together here and uh, actually didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. It's not that it's hard to put together. It's just, I'm not used to putting on little clothes on my figures. I just, that's not something I normally do. It's always a little bit of a challenge for me once I get her clothes on to get the arms back in like the holes. Cause you have to run them through the clothes and everything and get her head back on without smashing the, the edge of the clothing, anything like that. But Actually went very easy this time. Uh, no issues really at all. That being said, she looks freaking awesome. I was nervous, like I said before. I was a little bit nervous because I saw pictures before and I wasn't sure how she would look in person and some people said they didn't even like her that much, but she looks great. The clothes and everything look amazing. They're, they're built like perfectly for her body so you can see like her proportions and everything quite well. All the little details there between the bows and having her, her belt on and having her little name tag and everything, that all looks perfect. Even the extra little detail of having the hair come out of her, her little cat ears here. It's something like you don't really remember her having, but once you see it, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, she does have that. But the amount of detail and everything on this figure is, is perfect. Uh, all the bows and everything, I, I really do like it. The only downside I can think of here on just first impression is that her eyes are kind of dull. They're not like, they don't have any shine to them or anything. And for some reason, I don't know, that just kind of caught my eye as being weird. I, I don't know, like the color and everything is right. They look com completely like they do in the, the anime or in the visual novels, but they kind of just look a little bit dull. I, I don't know, maybe that's just me. But anyways, yeah, I think this figure even exceeded my expectations a little bit. Uh, I, like I said, I'm not Coconut's number one fan. I, I love her, but uh, not as much as some other people do. And I can still appreciate how amazing this figure looks with all the little detail. And it's just, it's perfect for the, the Neko Para fan in me. I just, I like how I have her panties in my hand. I'm just like, woo, spring break. Oh, that just gives me another million dollar idea. You've heard of fidget spinners. What about panty spinners? Okay, well, but that's only half of what we came here for. We still got a uh, top tier waifu here to put together. Don't get me wrong, I love Coconut. She's blonde, she's got the, the hetero eyes going on. She got enough titty for the whole class. There's just something about Azuki though, I don't know. I just want her to like bully me for 10 years, then we get married because it was secretly love the whole time. And here she comes, my little tsundere goddess. Alrighty you guys, I've had it with this world. I'm going to the Nekopara universe. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's some really cool effects in post. Whoa, I see a Zuki, uh, I see her, uh, her, her, I see her penguini. I see her, uh, her, uh, 
Pasusis. Oh, that's her undershirt. I was like, what is this taffy-like substance here? And that's just her, her undershirt. Now, I know a few of you out there might not understand this, but when you're flat like I am, but you still have very sensitive titties, uh, you typically wear an undershirt or something like that um, to, to prevent that. And that's something that Azuki uh, does quite often. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just... I'm just in a Neko heaven. Oh, I don't like Azuki. She's flat. And she's got no character. Uh, excuse me? Look at these panties and tell me otherwise. Oh my god, she is so freaking cute. All right, before I get distracted here, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, putting her together. Let's just knock it out. We're doing good. Train roll. <laughs> I'd like to say Azuki uh, was just as easy to put together as Coconut, but uh, I don't feel like lying to you guys. She was a pain in the ass. I think maybe it's because of the pose here, how her top's kind of twisted at an angle a little bit. For some reason, like, it pinches the arms of the uh, her shirt here. Getting her arms back in was, oh my god, it was so painful. I still can't get her panties to clip together here. I just gave up on that, and um, this is coming from somebody who's uh, dealt with some anime panties before. But once I finally got her together here, she looks just as good as Coconut. All the little touches are there. Having the tag with her name on it is such a good touch. I, I love seeing that on all these figures, and then having their bell, of course, is, is amazing. I do like the pose overall as well. It is a little bit more tippy compared to Coconut. It does kind of want to lean forward a little bit, so I would watch that if you are displaying this, especially at a kind of a high bookshelf or something like that. But I like it. I like how her tail kind of naturally lifts up her skirt a little bit. She looks great. All the colors, all the little details are amazing. I like the pose. She's a pain to put together, but I think it was worth it in the end. Is this my first Azuki figure? I think it is. Yeah, and Coconut too. I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. Damn, I'm starting off uh, top tier together. They shall become one. But I mean, seriously, have you guys ever seen two cuter looking Neko figures before? They're adorable. They tug at my heartstrings and also cause some other emotions, depending on what scene I'm playing. But I think the moment has finally come, that magical time in, in my figure unboxing videos where I give you guys at home a closer look at the figures. Okay, as I'm getting all hyped up for the B-roll section of this video, I realized I left off Azuki's uh, little underskirt here, so yay. <laughs> But like I was saying before, I think it's finally time for me to show you guys at home a little bit of a closer look at these figures. So here is a closer look at the binding 1-4 scale Coconut and Azuki figures for you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> I just know too when I move I'm gonna have to totally take these apart to put them back in the box unless I just I just carry them to my next house which honestly I might just do that because I do not want to put these clothes back on they are a pain I'll honestly just display them naked probably when I move I mean that's that's easier and uh yeah but before we wrap up this figure review I want to thank today's sponsor that's right this is happening AP has a sponsor it took me nearly a hundred K subs but we we made it. Have you guys ever asked yourself how AP be looking like a snack in every video? Be looking like the whole Thanksgiving dinner? It's easy. It's easy. Bakuretsu Anime Apparel. Designed for weebs, by weebs. Are you still wearing that Ahigao hoodie and sweatpants to Walmart to show off how much you love anime? What are you, stupid? Bakuretsu's Anime Apparel is a minimalistic design that'll show off you are still a true weeb, but have a sense of style. This is my favorite shirt they offer. Support. 
support cat curl research. But don't just take my word for it. Here's some women I definitely didn't order off Craigslist on what they had to say about Bakaratsu's designs. When I saw in my pleas in his Bakaratsu anime apparel, I knew that gods could walk among man. You know, I don't want to go too much in depth on what happened to me physically when I first saw anime pleas in his minimalistic Bakaratsu anime apparel, but uh, it was like a literal waterfall um, down there. An incredibly sexual experience is, is all I can say. To order your very own Bakaretsu anime apparel, head on over to Bakaretsu.co and enter the promo code ANIMEPLEASE123 at checkout for 10% off your first order. That's promo code ANIMEPLEASE123 for 10% off your first order. Yeah, check them out, you guys, if you are looking for a nice anime shirt. I love mine. I wear it all the time. And the owner's a really cool guy. He designs all his own stuff and uh, has supported the channel in the past, so... Uh, Thank you once again. All right, you guys, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me as we took a look at these amazing Neko Paro figures. Binding has once again blown me away with their quality and attention to detail to the characters. And even though they might be a absolute pain to put together, I think in the end it was still worth it. Remember, all the links to my social media will be down below in the description. So if you do want to send me a message on Instagram or Twitter or check out my Discord, everything will be down there. And I'll be sure to catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh.